Hey everyone, so in this video, I'll go over some natural language processing in ML.NET. Specifically, I'll show how to tokenize text data so you can pre-process it and get it ready to be used with a machine learning algorithm. But first, real quick, what exactly does it mean to tokenize text data? And when you do that, you essentially split it into each word or, to, or even to each letter of the input data. So let's see real quick how we can do this in ML.NET. All right, so I'm in Visual Studio here. I have a console project ready and I already have ML.NET installed. I'm using, I'm using version 1.3.1 for this. And I have a couple classes already done. I have text data, which is gonna be the kind of schema of our input. And then the the text tokens, which is going to be the schema of our output. And this is basically just a, an array of strings. So first things first, I'll create my ML context. And because we're just tokenizing here and tokenization, it, it is a transform, but we don't need to supply any uh, training data. So what I can do is create uh, some empty data, which is basically a new list of the text data object. And actually, I forgot to bump up this text here. Sorry about that. There you go, this should be better. So create our context and we create the empty data, which is just an empty list of our text data class. And with that, we can just create the add data view from the empty data set with the load from enumerable method and now we can create our transform which would be under transforms.text that tokenize into words and like the other transforms we give it an output column which is called tokens the input column which will be text since we're doing inputs of our text data and that has a property called text. The next we have to give it the kind of the separators that we want it to use. And that's gonna be a an array of characters. Right now I'll just start with the space. And so with that transform, we can call fit on it with our empty data. And similar to kind of creating a machine learning pipeline and doing prediction on it, we'll create a prediction engine. Give the input and output schemas and pass in the model to get our tokenized string here, we call engine.predict and give it our text data and say text equal to some text that we want to tokenize. So let's see, what, what can we use? We can give it a text of ml.net is great for machine learning and even deep learning. To kind of help print out this output, I'll create a little helper method here called print tokens. It's going to take the text data as the input. And I'll give it a new line each time it's called so we can separate out our different calls. And here I'm going to create a new string builder. And then for each token and tokens that text, sorry, it's not the data, it's the tokens. And it'll be tokens that tokens. And then for each of those, I'll append the line to the string builder. And then I'll write out the contents of the string builder. All right, with that, I'll just call print tokens and pass in the tokens. And then I'll do console.reline so it'll stay up. And let's run this and see what we get. 
right, so each word is kind of split out on its own here. You notice we still have some punctuation here. And one way to kind of fix that is it with a separators character array, we can pass in a period and comma and other punctuation that we kind of wanted to, uh, to recognize here. So let's run this again and see what differences we get. There you go, so now you see we have no comma here, no, no punctuation. So we can use that separators parameter to kind of handle all that, the punctuation within your text data. All right, so that's how you tokenize into words. What if you want to tokenize into different characters or letters within your input data? So kind of the similar way here, we want to create a little bit of a pipeline and we'll do the same or kind of similar transforms that text tokenize instead of into words we'll tokenize characters as keys. And we'll pass in tokens as our output and then text as our input. And I'll use marker as characters. I said that as false. And along with that, I'll append another transform. It'll be transforms that conversion map key to value. And because we had the input column as text, right, as tokens, and our output column is also tokens, we can just pass that in as the same thing. We do that because it's going to tokenize as keys. So we're going to map those keys to values. Then after that, we do the fit on those transform pipeline. Still on our empty data that we created before. And we create an engine and we call it predict on it. And we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll give it the same input here. And then we'll print these out. So let's run this and see how this is different. All right, so here's our first one where it tokenized each word. And here's our second one. So each character has been tokenized in, into its own. And these kind of a question mark things here, this indicates that there is a space. All right, uh, I'll end things right there just to kind of show you how you can tokenize within, ML, within ML.net to kind of prepare for some natural language processing. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you learned from this video and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe so you can get more content. I'll see y'all in the next video.